welcome back to part two on the E3D V6 upgrade for the SV01. In the first video, we showed you how to do the actual hardware upgrade. In this video, we're going to show you how to rebuild the firmware, flash it to the printer, do the heat tightening, and make sure otherwise that you're ready to print. Now let's get started. Now that the hardware upgrade is done, we have two items left. We have to update the Marlin firmware, and we have to do our heat tightening. But let's talk about the whole process. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go into Visual Studio Code with Platform I.O. loaded, and we're gonna change a couple of things in our configuration.h file. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna set the uh, temp sensor to the E3D V6 version, and then we're also gonna set the max temp to 300 degrees. Now, the reason we're setting it to 300 degrees is because we really want it to get to 285 degrees, and there's a 15 degree discrepancy on what we can dial into the LCD screen and what it'll actually put to the hot end as a max temperature. So we'll do that. We're going to build this for a 300 degree max temp. We're going to flash that to the system. We're going to go ahead and get it up to that 300 or actually 285 degrees. We're going to crank the nozzle a little tighter um, and do our hot tightening and then let it cool down. And then in the meantime, we're going to reflash the machine with our new normal max temp, which will actually be set to 285. So that's much safer. We don't want to leave it set for a 300 degree maximum because that's too hot to have sustainably um, heated all that time. So we really want to make sure that we're safe and keep it back to 285 as our max. So let's go ahead and get started. So Inside of configuration.h, what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control F, and we're going to we're going to go ahead and search for um, temp underscore sensor, and we're going to find the first one, which is underscore zero. So temp sensor underscore zero. We're going to change that one to a five. And how do we know it's a five? Well, first the E3D V6 documentation says so, and, and we have to believe them. But if we scroll up here in the um, documentation, it says that a five is a 100K thermistor, which we know it is, and so on. So we're gonna go ahead and, and leave that at a five. Now, uh, we're gonna also go search for max temp, M-A-X-T-E-M-P, all one word. And we're gonna set that 275, again, the heater zero. So we're going to go ahead and set that max to 300. And again, this will be the heat tightening version and we'll later change this to 285 as our max temp. So we're going to go ahead with this. We'll go down here to the check mark and click on it and it says platform IO build and we'll do that. We're going to let it build. Okay, success. So we're going to scroll up just a little bit here, and we're looking for this firmware.hex file. Now, we'll know where to find it because wherever we stuck this code, there's going to be a subdirectory called .pio backslash build backslash mega2560, and then we'll find the file firmware.hex. That's the file that we're going to go into Kira and send over to the printer. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and open up uh, Explorer here. And this is the directory. I've already got it queued up. And sure enough, we can see the firmware.hex file is right here. So now, since we need two versions of it, one at 300 and one at 285, I'm going to go ahead and just rename this one. And we'll call this um, underscore 300, just so that we don't get them confused. All right. And then what I'll do is I'll go back into. VS code here, and I'm going to change this back to 285. And I'm going to hit build again. And now we'll have our second one that we'll need after we've done the heat tightening. So we'll just rapidly build the two versions that we need so we have them on hand. And this should be pretty quick. Awesome. So let's bring up Explorer again and see that we have our other. Uh, hex file here, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to go and rename this one so that it's um, underscore 285. There we go. Now we have our two hex files that we can flash the printer with. So next we'll go into Kira 
and flash the printer with the 300 and do our heat tightening. Okay, now inside of Cura, we're gonna go ahead and flash the firmware on the printer. So to do that, we'll go up to settings and printer and manage printers. Now you can see the Soval SV01 is already listed here in local printers. And we're gonna go to update firmware. And you can see that the printer is connected to our USB port successfully. So it's showing us the upload custom firmware option. So we're gonna click on that. And now I've created a firmware directory inside of where Akira is stored to find it easily. And I'm gonna click on that. And now, of course, first we want the 300 degree firmware, which we just created. So we'll open that. And we can see it's updating the firmware now. Okay, firmware update completed. Now we can see on the LCD screen that what it's doing is restarting really quick and coming up with our new version. Okay, next we need to change our temperature up to 300. So we're gonna go and click and go to temperature and we're gonna go to nozzle and set our nozzle to the max. So we'll keep scrolling. And you can see, even though we set it to 300, our max in the LCD is 15 less, so it's 285. So we'll go ahead and click, and we'll go watch that for a few seconds to make sure it's actually increasing. So we'll let that go. Okay, so now that we're at 285 degrees, we're gonna go ahead and do the heat tightening. So to do that, we're gonna put a wrench on our heat block and we're gonna use this um, seven millimeter socket on the nozzle. So we'll go ahead and we'll put the wrench on the heat block and just tighten that slightly. And we'll come in here. Oops, gotta be very careful because it's very hot. And we'll come in. Tighten this ever so slight. There we go. Just to make sure it's nice and tight for us. All right, now that that's done, we can set the temperature back down to normal and we can go ahead and reassemble everything. Now that we did the heat tightening, we need to load the 285 max temp firmware back onto the printer. So let's go back into Cura. And we'll go into settings, printer, and manage printers again. And we see our Soval SV01 is still here. We're going to click once more on the update firmware, upload custom firmware. And then we'll go into our firmware and firmware 285. Firmware update completed. Okay, we'll hit close. And then we can see on the printer that it's doing its restart again. And once it comes back up, there it is. Um, then now we can verify that our max temp is set to 285. And we're off to go do some printing. Thank you for watching both of the videos on upgrading the Soval SV01 to the E3D V6. I'm sure you'll find it's quite an upgrade and it'll allow you a lot of flexibility and hopefully you have less clogs and, and generally just a more confident way of printing in your SV01. Thank you for sticking around to the end and we really appreciate it. If you'd like to watch other videos like this, please let us know. Go to our Discord channel, which will be in the description down below, or go to our website, send us an email, hit us up on Facebook and Instagram. And again, please make sure that you like and subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified of upcoming videos like this one. Thanks a lot.